Hey guys, today I'm going to put a communicator on the Climb Cryos Pro. I'm going to be installing the Senna 20S EVO. So if you're like me and you love your Senna communicator on your street bike helmet, um, but you want to be able to transfer that communicator to your adventure bike helmet, then you're going to want the universal clamp kit and that's what I'm going to use for today's install. The install itself is going to be the same whether you're buying the, the communicator out of the box or whether you're doing the install with just the clamp kit like I'm doing today. Um, just note that I've, I'm using the HD speakers today which is an upgrade and uh, those typically require you to update your software on your communicator. That's pretty straightforward. If you have the app, it'll walk you right through it. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is remove the cheek pads so that I can clamp the clamp kit onto the left side of the helmet and also to, to get the speakers in on the side. So this, this padding needs to come away. There's just some Velcro where your cheeks are and then it kind of tucks in with these tabs in along the edge of the helmet. So next up, let's break out the clamp kit. So there's the boom, that's the piece I need. The only difference being that I'm gonna to wanna to change out these speakers before I go ahead and do the install. So I'm gonna to need to unplug them from here. In order to do that, there's a tiny Phillips screw that's holding this little connector in place. So I'm gonna get my screwdriver, take that out. Okay, the thing you need to be careful of is there's basically a little cap on this which the uh, screw then goes through so you have to remove the cap in order to be able to lock it lock the new one in place there it is right there so that just pops over Plug in the connector, and then we'll put the screw in, obviously. All right, that's all set. Now in the kit, there's alternative microphones. I rather like the boom microphone myself. Puts the mic as close to your mouth as possible. So, however, in the kit, there's um, very small Velcro, that you can stick to the inside if you don't want that boom in your way. And there's a shorter boom, which depending on the shape of the inside of your helmet, this boom has a remote wire, so it's not hardwired to the clamp. So just show you what I mean. So now I can place this wherever it needs to be in the helmet, and I can plug in the mic separately so I have a little more flexibility on where it lands inside the helmet versus this will clip onto the side of the helmet and will end up kind of right there in front of you. Um, I'm going to try this first and if this really doesn't work out to my liking then I obviously will go with one of the other options. Um, and then this basically just clamps on with two little bolts and in order to tighten them in place you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter allen key wrench to do that so i'm going with the clamp here um, it provides a lot of strength good good holding power um, in the kit is also included an adhesive option if getting inside the helmet and clamping it becomes a problem depending on the style of your helmet they also have you can replace the back plate here which clamps with this adhesive plate and peel it, stick it, and 
then you only need to use the outside of the helmet to affix the, um, the kit. So that's also an option for you. All right, so I'm gonna loosen this off and do a bit of a dry fit. So what I want this to do is to curve back and drop through here and there's a bit of a crease here. Um, so that would be ideal. Now this tab that needs to kind of slot in there is going to need to get cut, notched out. Okay, not sure if you can see that, but I've now taken a notch out of the tab here so that that little groove in the helmet's liner can be used to allow my speaker wire to travel up there. The padding is quite pronounced around the back of the neck. Um, so I think that getting the speaker wire to go around the back here, just above that, um, you can see the yellow padding. Just above that and behind the liner is where I'm gonna send that wire. So that's roughly where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna turn these two wires down along that ridge inside the helmet liner. Once those two wires are there, I can work on getting these tabs back in place. All right, that's in really good shape. Took some doing to kind of back this out and put the tab in and then squeeze it down, but that looks exactly like where I want it to be. So now we need to locate where the speaker is gonna go on this, which is the left side. Okay, I'm gonna send this right side speaker in behind the liner and across the back. The liner lifts up quite easily, so you can definitely send it through, no problem. All right, excellent. So there's the speaker on that side. Here's the speaker for that. And then we just need to locate where we want that speaker to be. And place the adhesive appropriately. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this back in. And because the speaker, this is your ear pocket right here. So putting the cheek pad back in place is actually gonna help me locate that. Slide this in. In the same regard, I think I should be able to leave the cheek pad in place on the other side. Just peel back just where the ear cushion is. Peel that piece back and locate the speaker. The black foam that's here is basically your ear pad next to your ear. And it's actually holding the speaker in place and the wire is just traveling around underneath the liner here. You won't feel it at all because of how thick the foam is around the neck and actually recedes there a bit. So that wire should stay in place quite nicely. The only thing that's left to do is to tighten the screws that hold the clamp as well as the boom which is tucked in under this cheek pad needs a piece of foam to reduce the sound of harshness when you're speaking. Okay, so the microphone's in place, that's great. Just need to tighten those with an Allen key. And I'm not gonna need these adhesives because of how aggressive the Velcro is at holding down the existing uh, liner inside the helmet. All right, so a couple final thoughts before I let you go. Um, I've put a couple thousand miles on the, uh, the setup here and the speakers have stayed put. Uh, so I would say that you don't need the, um, the little peel and stick Velcro type 
pads that they include in the kit. Um, as I said in the instructions, I just used the, the foam that's inside the helmet itself to hold the speaker in place. And these speakers haven't budged at all. I've done at least 25% of my riding over the last two, 3,000 miles um, off-road. So a lot of vibration and everything else. And everything has stayed exactly where it needed to be. Just super pleased on how well it's gone and glad that um, the speaker setup in there uh, worked out great because the inside of the helmet is kind of that rough Velcro stuff. And so even trying to peel and stick these little um, tabs would be difficult. I'm thinking you'd have to put some kind of adhesive on the back to get them to stay in place. Still an option if you find that your speakers end up moving, um, but based on my experience, I think they're gonna stay put um, just based on how I've done them here. Uh, so with that, um, hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like. If you'd like to follow along, certainly subscribe. Always interested in your comments and questions and, uh, and your feedback. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.